hello hello and welcome to this this is a documentary my very first attempt at a documentary talking about the last 10 years of my record label little Lemon records now i've been making music longer than 10 years but i thought you know 10 years little lemon records it deserved to be marked it deserved you know just a a little pat on the back for you know being good to me after all these years the music well let's talk about the music vision thing afflicted arc now here fade in fade out heavy on the magic save me loops and scales the b team star blue touched by the king it's about time outsider without words textures here comes the future the verity improvisations echo net everything you've ever owned is mine luckiest man in the world steady state of flux pressure point Americana improvisations too wow that's what Little Lemon Records has given to the world and this documentary will kind of try and answer the questions that many of you have you know many of you come to me on a, a regular basis and ask me about you know you know how does all this this empire this amazing music empire how does it come about you know you know what's it like to be well a, a creative genius it's you know i might not have all the answers but we'll have a little bit of fun you know poking around in the various nooks and crannies of little lemon records Take it away, Darren. Why, thank you, Darren. Now, this documentary aims to get to the to the nub. What a lovely word, nub. To the nub, the creative core of Little Lemon Records and, in some respect, Darren Locke. But before we can do that, we need to venture outside to see where all the magic happens. Take it away, Darren. Well, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, Think of Abbey Road, Real World Studios, all rolled into one. This is where I put all that amazing music down and commit it to, well, to, to digital, to all those zeros and ones that I pump out to your ears. All the hard work is done in here. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, can't, I can't show you around at the moment, I can't show you inside. Uh, we've, suffering an infestation of swans. I don't know if you can hear them. You can hear them in there. And you know what swans are like, they can break a man's arm clean off. Why? Why is it called Little Lemon Records? That is a very good question. Um, it's got nothing to do with my uh, physical uh, manifestation, no. It's not a reference to a part of my body, no. It's, uh, it comes from the fact that I, I, I once had a, a little lemon, a lemon tree, and it grew a little lemon. That was the lemon. Yeah. Very little, hence the title, little lemon. Self-explanatory, really. Well, actually, these days I don't actually, I don't actually um, make any of the music. I found it a lot cheaper and easier to outsource it to China. So, you know, when you see me playing, I'm just miming along. You know, some Chinese kid has already done all the hard work. They DSL it, you know, they use the magic of the web to uh, zip it back over to me. And I just, I just sit there and, and, and uh, you know, and, and play along. But, you know, I mean, it's mine. I still paid for it. You know, the music belongs to me. It's just, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't bother. What's the point? It's all been done before. Okay, so that is a very good question. Um, well, I first 
got into music because um, I was looking for a way to distract myself from my, my chronic onanism. Um, it, was, it was so bad to a point where I couldn't go out, you know, you know, my hands were sore. So I thought I'd use my hands in a different way and, 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 and play the guitar. Uh, and I've been doing that ever since. And hopefully you'll find it more entertaining than watching me bend double masturbating like a safari park chimp. Yes, this hasn't always been the, the, the hub of Little Lemon Records. Um, before this, well, at the very beginning, there was, uh, we lived in a flat in Leightonstone. I did a few records there, um, you know, just using the, using the computer. Uh, then we moved to Leafy Mountain, where we're at now, and um, I had another room recorded some more stuff there then yes yeah, so then we moved to that place I don't like to talk about it begins with an end it sounds like all fuck um, and then I lived in a shed for a year for tax reasons yeah and then we're here to the main hub and uh, uh, so that gets you up to speed where do I get all the ideas from now that is a very good question. Now the internet is, is very good because it's enabled me to basically steal ideas from everybody else. I can just go online, find some really talented musicians and you know, just steal the music from them. You know, I, I, I refer to my, my Chinese people, my contacts in China and I say, see them, I want it just like that. And they go off and they, they copy the music for me and uh, and that's how it's done. I, I don't have. I'm completely bereft of ideas. I don't actually. I don't actually do anything like that now. It's just. You know, it's just. Just stealing. All art is theft. Uh, what would I do if I wasn't a musician? Well, I'd be a. I'd be an international playboy, wouldn't I? Look at me. Obvious answer. And this is where we do all the surround sound mixing. Yeah, it's the sofa, the, all from the sofa. Unfortunately, because of the, um, the swan infestation in the main studio, I had to move the main surround sound operation here. Now, how does it all work? Well, the project's loaded into the laptop. I move a few buttons. I move this twirly thing and it moves the sound around. It's as easy as that, that's surround sound. Now for those of you who are technically minded, the output goes to a little box there, which has some wires that goes into a bigger box, and that bigger box makes all the sounds. Now my previous bigger box uh, was a Sony, it's a Sony box, uh, an amp, I think that's what they call amps, is that right? Um, my previous amp was a Sony, uh, but it, it got blown up when it was struck by lightning. That's a true story. It got struck by lightning and it blew up. And, um, and three months later, uh, this happened. And that's when we had to move um, Little Lemon Studios again. We, you know, always, on, always on the move. But... Let me let me demonstrate what it sounds like. This is the surround sound. You, you, of course, you obviously you obviously won't hear the surround sound because you've only got two ears. But it's as simple as this. And if you can hear that, hear that lovely sound, it's enveloping me like a warm bath. Listen, that has all been mixed and will be appearing soon for your delectation. But yes, yeah, surround sound, it's really easy. All you need is some speakers, an amp, and lots of cable. Easy as that, trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. Now you probably wonder, you know, how it all comes together, you know, the, the, the artwork, you know, the look, the branding, 
Well, we have our own art department. And Darren, the other Darren, is going to tell you all about it. Take it away, Darren. And this is where I do all the artwork for the CDs. Each CD is lovingly handcrafted uh, before it makes its way to you. Um, it can be a bit difficult sometimes, you know, especially if you've, you know, you have done the artwork for a long time, looking for ideas, you know, it can be a bit tricky, but I sit here and work hard and make sure that every every CD can, you know, contains a little bit of me, a little bit of lock magic. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing at the moment. As you can see. I'm currently working on uh, some new new copies of uh, Luckiest Man in the World, and I'm just I'm just drawing the the sleeve here, but um, I, I'm not very good at it. I usually get my daughter to do it. Uh, you see, I always forget how to do mouths. You see, the mouth is just it, it's just look look it's just all wrong. So yeah, I, I tend to get my daughter to do it, but yeah, each sleeve is is lovingly recreated using the finest materials I mean I think I think you'll agree you know that's not that's not a, that's not a bad a bad representation of what it looks like but you know you know very very, very did this one she's very, like I said very very good she's a very good artist very good with the crayons so um, yeah this is the this is the art department, as you, uh, uh, if I if I may be so bold as to describe it as the art department. Um, hopefully, you know, you, you it'll inspire you to buy a copy of, of one of my CDs. You can see how much love has gone into each and every one of them. Here at Little Lemon Records, we pride ourselves at being very much a family business. Everyone is involved and when you order one of our, our CDs, it's packaged up and hand taken to the post box. Oh yes, every time we have a special little job for a special little man. Are you ready to go, son? Of course, the real magic happens in this seat where I'm sitting now because this is where I make all the videos, all the YouTube videos that you love so much. You know, you love me blabbering on about music, but you couldn't give a, 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 a fuck about the music I make. Oh, oh my heart, it's broken. But, um, but yeah, so this is the real hot seat. This is where I do the music, where I, I mime to the stuff that the Chinese guys have put together for me. Um, this is where I steal all the ideas because I have the internet here. This is indeed the hot seat. And that's that really. But before I um, shuffle off, I'm going to hand you back to Darren who's done an ama amazing link at the end. You know, a farewell link because this is all professional stuff, you know. Oh yeah, well, semi-professional. And who doesn't like a semi now and again? I shall hand you back to my good friend Darren. Darren? Well, you know, I hope you found that informative and entertaining. And of course, one mustn't forget 
Sam's Ears and Silk Purses and the other great box set, God Pays Debts Without Money. Some of the finest music you'll ever hear. Anyway, that's been Little Lemon Records. Hopefully it's been an inspiration that you'll go out and possibly make your own music, but I'd rather you reach for your credit card and you know, purchase some product, you know, because, you know, you know it makes sense. You've seen the, the blood, sweat, tears, and even semen that, that goes into these productions. Um, a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of great effort, and you know, it's, it's very difficult when you are when you are touched by genius. And um, you know, I need to be I need to be financially validated. Oh yes, indeed. And with that bombshell, those words, I shall bid you farewell. And um, hopefully, this has uh, tickled your funny bone. My name's been Darren Locke, this has been Little Lemon Records. Only one more thing to say, and that is, ta-ta.